Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn to use the one-click tuning function in Motion Studio. One-click tuning function is used to identify the load characteristics automatically for the axis and match the appropriate inertia ratio, gain notch filters and other parameters according to the application requirements, which simplifies the servo tuning process and greatly improves the servo tuning efficiency. Please keep in mind that this feature can only be used in position mode and EtherCAD controlled applications. Before using this function, prohibit other controllers from controlling the drive and be sure to disable the motor. Open Motion Studio software and connect to the drive. In the menu bar of the EL8 EC400F, you can find one-click tuning under Easy Tuning or find it in the function navigation panel. After opening the one-click tuning, we should select a suitable scene according to the application requirements. Tuning response is used to select different kind of mechanical construction corresponding to actual application. For example, we choose tier high response. In tuning mode, position mode indicates that the motor emphasizes positioning accuracy and quick positioning, such as the load moving from point A to point B in a very short time and reducing the position deviation to the minimum in a very short time. The track mode is used for tracking, such as arc interpolation, which requires that the load speed always follow the command speed. For example, we select the track mode. Target position range can be set or used by default value, then click on next. Select to and fro mode in the range of motion and click servo enable. At this time, the motor is enabled. We can click forward or reverse to move the motor back and forth and the motor's moving speed can be set in the teach jog velocity. After the load moves to the appropriate location, click position 1 to set start point. Then continue moving the load to another appropriate location and click position 2 to set end point. The distance between the two positions is preferably the maximum distance of the operation and larger than 0.5 revolutions of the motor. Please be careful when the axis is moving. After setting the range of motion, you need to set the approximate inertia ratio value. Tick Disable the Inertia Ratio Identification Failure Alarm. Tuning speed limit is used to set the maximum speed of the motor in the self-tuning process. The default speed is half of rated speed. You can use the default speed or you can set the speed other value, but it shouldn't be higher than the rated speed of the motor. After completing the above settings, click Next. Check and make sure the area of operation is safe before clicking on Yes. The motor will start to rotate and self-tuning will start. This process will take around 3 minutes. During the process, if any emergency occurs, please click on Emergency Stop. After the motor is finished running, the tuning result will be displayed, and we can see some self-tuning data. In the manual fine adjustment, there are inertia ratio value automatically identified. Adaptive MFC bandwidth value, stiffness value, notch filter value and other parameters. You can also manually fine-tune these parameters, such as stiffness value. Then, click export parameter file to save the parameter file in the laptop. Finally click done, and then click yes, so, the one-click tuning is completed.